Hello and uh, welcome back to Max Payne uh, 3 and uh, yeah, in the last episode we've uh, yeah, we've started the Panama mission and uh, apparently there's something on the ship that's more vi valuable than uh, hostages, so uh, yeah. I wonder what that is, probably some drugs or something like that. Okay, uh, let's uh, go up here. Anyone over here, maybe? Oh, that guy's that is dead. Anyone else? There's a guy there. So let's kill that guy. Well, there's someone more. Oh, on this side. Yeah. Anyone else on the pier? No? Then, uh... Okay, yeah. At least we know that there's people on the pier. So, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, e yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, I didn't mean to do it like that. I had to save some valuables. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go well. Maybe let's uh, try on this side. Okay. There's this guy. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh Yeah, we're not doing so great here. Yeah, that's the last guy, so that's great. Maybe we'll get some more clues or something. Okay, we're do done for, probably. Almost. Almost. It would be great if we got some painkillers right now. <clears throat> well, uh, what is this? It's the shotgun or something like that, but I guess uh, let's stay with the golden gun. So uh, there's nothing here, not even a piece of clue or, uh, or anything else. Okay. Okay. 
and let's wait for him to just show himself. Yeah, it's the last guy. Maybe there was something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. Yeah, there's nothing over here, so uh, let's go to the bridge, I guess. At least maybe there's some painkillers over here. And golden pieces of something? No? There's nothing interesting here. I spotted Passos and Marcello. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it, it didn't seem quite so kosher. What about, what's her name? Daphne. Uh, do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah I guess, See, uh... I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. We're here. I realize you knew your way around here. They were using that building to get across the canal. So, uh, Top of the tower. there was some equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. Okay, so that's uh, fine. There's something in the Yeah, there's something over there, but uh, let's not... Uh... We can get across up top. Uh. Okay, that's... The last of them. Don't move forward. I want to check the track for painkillers and stuff. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah. Well, at least I'm. Uh, No, what I we are find. Uh, just a boat full of drunks and bullshit artists. I'd been the cabaret act. Shooting whatever came in front of me was easier than coming to terms with that reality. Yeah, and also a golden something here. Part of an AK. So that's nice. Anything else that's golden somewhere here? No, so let's uh, just go. Okay. It was nice to More see a friendly face in Panama. He's already dead, so... It would be nice if we got another clue or something. Well, donuts. Okay. Okay, there's also this guy. Well, he's still alive, so... Hey, 
And I lost all my weapons. Okay, do I see anything gold over there? I don't think so. But let's... Uh, let's reload. And see if there anything yellow or gold. Yeah. Over here. So we've got the golden super sport. And maybe on the other side we'll find a part of the AK. No. So let's just... Uh... Oh, let's just get through this door. Okay, there's someone over here. Yeah, this is the last guy. Okay, let's go through uh, this entrance. Maybe there's something interesting here. Painkillers. Fancy seeing you here. Okay, I guess we just need to open this door. And uh, which door was it? Over here. Let's just pop some painkillers and... Okay. And anything... Over here. Golden pieces of weapons. No? Okay. Nothing over on this side. I don't see anyone here. Rooms and over here, golden something maybe. No. How many do I need? Two, two parts for the AK. Yeah, let's go for the restrooms. Let's pop some more painkillers. Oh no, yeah. That was an accident on the, on the second one. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I thought that was uh, someone, so... Uh... Yeah, we're uh, fine, I guess, for now. It would be nice if we got some um, golden pieces of the AK. Oh, there was something here. That would have to wait. I had more pressing concerns. Yeah, let's uh, kill the the last guy and uh, return to examine this. Yeah. Let's go back here, and this is probably the last clue. 
Americans had a long and checkered history of involvement in Panama. This was my sorry chapter, for what it's worth. Yeah, we've got everything here. Well, apart from the golden AK, but we'll uh, get it, I think. There is a lot of blood here. Oh, and there's a lot of dead people. Jesus Christ. And there's the lady. think things would be like this and what did you think that they would not die I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York yeah so I guess we're uh what do you think you were really doing in Panama? I was drinking. People died. Innocent people. Who do you think robbed you? I don't know. I was told it was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein. Something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? Guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes, Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what. I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to launder. But I thought the Broncos were rich. Rodrigo's rich. The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. For this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America. Failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. He's probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You are the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. <clears throat> okay, let's take a drive, Max. You want to do some good? Hmm? You want to get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel? Yeah, that's what it says. 
people go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. Okay, so, uh... Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. So, uh... A lot of people come here and disappear. So I'm guessing, uh, they die. But I wasn't too excited about the acoustics in this place. But what happens then? gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. A silencer? That's... It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? Okay, I was convinced if this the is a... had gotten the wrong man for the job, but a silencer. maybe Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. So I think this is a, actually a good place to uh, end this episode and uh, I hope I'll uh, see you again in the next video. Bye!